The Fireflies is an augmented reality experience that we're running at Lakota, which is a club in Bristol. So our audience, through their mobile phone, they'll point that at this beautiful mural on the side of the building, and we're gonna convert that into a portal into another dimension. So the Fireflies have been created by an ancient race to service their every need. So they're, they're worker bees, really. And it's all about overwork and the need for people to get out and have a break and go and let their hair down. So we have creatures that are speakers and they're going to pour through this portal playing this amazing jungle tune by Arcane and then Screaming Colours VFX is going to turn it into like a, an AR spectacular. Because this is Playable Cities, we wanted it to be fun. Like first and foremost, fun. Like we don't want people to come away deeply thinking about all of the messages that are hidden in this. We want them to leave with a big smile on their face. So Glitch is a new studio and this is one of our first projects that will be seen by the public. So this is the stepping stone for our entire business. So for Fireflies, we're looking to try and get commissions and get this out there and tour it. But also it's going to be portfolio work to help us build up the services side of our business. We're really interested in the intersection between physical and digital or an in particular location-based augmented reality. Most of the work that Oz and I have done before is app-based AR, and that's great, but it's not very accessible for the average Joe walking down the street. For Playable Cities, we wanted to do something where the user could scan a QR code and get straight into the experience. So the whole thing is meant to be as platform agnostic as possible, so we've made it from the ground up as a, a web app. So it's not Google, it's not iOS, it's anyone that's got access to a browser. But at its heart, Oz and I are really Really trying to channel the energy that we had in our misspent youth running around warehouses and listening to big sound systems and, and sort of bring that into a different art context and something that we're working on now. Like the Fireflies, they choose locations based on cultural significance. So the idea is at some point in the future this might tour to other locations and they'll reflect the music of the location that they choose. So right here it's jungle and Bristol sound and all of those good things that's got that rich Bristol heritage. But if you're up in another city like, like Birmingham or Leeds, it might be something completely different and significant to that location.